Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to easily track multiple saber effects in one clip in After Effects. A lot of you have asked about this because your tracking wasn't smooth, so today I'll show you how to track multiple sabers with 100% accuracy. Let's begin. First of all click on track camera and wait until it's done. Once analyzing is finished, select the points there where you want saber effect to be, for example I will select some on the ground here. Now right click and select create solid and camera. Let's create another solid and camera right on the car since I want one of my sabers to be tracked there. Then let's create one more, but this time I'll select some points in the background, for example on that building. So now we have three track solids, and the first thing I'm going to do is rename all of them to stay more organized. So the green solid is the one on the building and I will name it building. The purple one is on the car and let's name it windshield. And the last one is a blue one and it's on the ground, so let's rename it to ground. Since we have all the track solids ready, we can create another new solid layer. I will name it Saber Solid and then change the size to 2500 by 2500 and then hit OK. Let's move Saber Solid above all tracked solids and then apply Saber effect on it. Expand render settings and change composite settings to transparent. Then expand customize core and set core type to layer masks. Now grab any of the masking tools, I'm going to use the ellipse tool to create a circular mask. Now it's important to adjust the anchor point, because it's not centered on the circle mask. To fix it, make sure Saber Solid layer is selected, the one you have masked and then hold control on your keyboard and double click on anchor point tool. Once it's fixed we can enable 3D on a Saber Solid layer to track it. And now the most interesting part begins, we can choose any of the tracked solids to decide where we want the circle Saber to be tracked. For example let's choose the building solid. Press P on your keyboard to reveal its position, then simply copy the position and paste it onto the Saber Solid. As you can see, my saber is now perfectly placed on the building. Now you can press S on your keyboard to scale the saber. Then adjust the rotation and position to your liking. Once you're happy with it, you can also change the preset. Let's quickly check if it's perfectly tracked. Everything looks so smooth and perfect. Now let's add more sabers and track them to the ground and the car as well. I'll duplicate my saber layer, then select another tracked solid, for example the windshield. Press P to reveal its position, copy it, and paste it onto the duplicated saber solid. Now, again, adjust the size, position, and rotation as needed. For this one, I'll change the saber color to make them different. Then let's check if it's perfectly tracked. I'll also show you how to quickly and easily change the saber mask shapes. As you see both sabers are perfectly tracked. Now let's track the third saber on the ground, just repeat the same steps we used for the previous sabers. As you can see, all the sabers are perfectly tracked, and now you know how to track them properly too. Once we're done and all the sabers are perfectly tracked, we can toggle off the tracked solid layers since we don't need to see them anymore. And now let me show you how to change the saber shapes, for example if you don't want all the sabers to be circles. Let's select one of the saber layers. Then press M on a keyboard to reveal the mask and delete it. Now grab any masking tool you want, for example I'll use the pen tool to create a random mask. It was totally random, but it actually looks like a racing track. Believe me, if I tried to mask a track intentionally, it wouldn't look this good, but when you do it randomly and by accident, it always works out. And that's a wrap for this tutorial. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.